We're almost at the end of this video tutorial. And we have built a website using both basic and a bit more advanced features in Umbraco. As a final touch, we're going to create a proper navigation menu for our site and complete our welcome page by adding the latest blog post section. For those things, we're going to be using partial views. Partial views is basically a way to have code snippets that you can share on multiple templates. All right, let's start. We already have the structure for our navigation up here. However, none of these links works and they're also not the pages we've created in the back office. Currently, this navigation exists only in our master template and it's pure HTML. There's nothing dynamic to this navigation bar at all. We're about to change that. We want to display all the pages that's directly below our welcome page in the content tree. So let's identify those. So we have our content tree here and we want a menu item for each of these content pages below our welcome page. So we'll want one for Learn on Braco, one for the team, contact us, and finally one for our blog section. All right, so we'll start by grabbing the HTML from the navigation menu from our master template. So let's go ahead and find that one. We have our master down here and the navigation menu is here. We'll grab all of this, crop it out and save the master template. And then we're going to create a partial view. Under the templates folder over here, you'll notice there's already a folder for partial views. And in it, a selection of partial views used for Umbraco Forms and the grid editor. We're going to be creating our own partial view. So you can either right click here or click the three little dots. And when creating the navigation, we're going to use one of the built-in snippets that comes with Umbraco. Here in this list, there is one called navigation. We'll select that one. And then all the way below here, we will just paste in our code and I'll clean it up a little bit. There we are. And of course we also need to give it a name. I will call it navigation. There we go. So the snippet that's been created for us here, it starts out by selecting the root content node, which in our case will be the welcome page. Then if there are any child nodes below the welcome page, it will run through each of them and put each item in an unordered list. Now, we do not want to use the predefined HTML here. We want to use what we copied from our master template. So let's go ahead and merge this together. So first of all, we would want all of this at the top here to replace this UL tag. All right. And then to replace the bottom tag, we want these three. Put them up here. Yes, there we go. And we will grab a single one of these, copy that and paste it under this list item. Here we go. So from the snippet, we would want the class here from the list. Paste it in here. Then we would want the href from the a tag replace with this one and finally we will want the name from the a tag as well paste it here great then we can get rid of this part let's see yeah i think it looks fine and we can get rid of all of these down here oh, wonderful and i think that was it oh and up here we want the umbraco tv text to so link to the root node, so to our welcome page. So instead of index.html, we will place an at to start the razor code. We will say model.root to find the root node of our content tree. And finally, we will add URL to get the link to the root node. So this way, the Umbraco TV link in our navigation menu will always link to our welcome page no matter where we are on our website. Great, then let's save the partial view and then we need to add it to our master template. So let's go back there and find the place where we took the code before, it's here. Then we'll click insert. And instead of choosing value like we've done previously, we're going with partial view. 
And from here we'll be able to choose between our various path views. Our new one is even right here. So go ahead and select that one. And a snippet like this will be added to our template. And that's it. Let's save our master template. And let's see what happens when we refresh our front end up here. So I'll refresh the page. And voila, we've now added a dynamic navigation bar. And we can now browse through our content pages as these acts as real links now. Entirely like a real website. Okay, we still need to do one last thing here on our front page. We need to make this section down here with the latest blog posts. We need to make this dynamic. So on our blog page, we are already using some code to query through the blog posts. Can we just use the same code on the home page? Yes, we can. And we're going to do it by creating another partial view. We will then use this partial view to render the blog posts on both the blog page here and our home page. So we'll start by taking the code from the blog page. We'll find the template in here and scroll down to find our query. Here it is. So we will grab all of this, crop it out, and save the blog page template. Okay. Then we'll create another partial view. And this time we'll go with an empty partial view. We'll paste in our code here, clean it up a bit, and give our partial view a name. We will call it blog posts. Okay. Let's save the partial view. And of course, we need to make sure that we render it on our block template. So we will find the spot down here, insert, partial view, and select our block posts. Great. And we also want to render it on our home page template. Here we want to replace all the static code we still have here with our partial view. So we will take all of these columns here, get rid of those. And we also need to make sure that our row with the heading here has a closing tag like that. And let's insert our partial view. There we are. Great. Save the home page template. And let's check out our front page one more time. So let's refresh. So if we navigate to our home page up here, scroll down and have a look. Wonderful. We did have some more details about blog posts here before. That can easily be brought back. All you need to update is the blog post partial view, and it will be updated both here and on the blog page. And that was basically it. We've now created a complete Umbraco website from scratch. Now it's your turn to take this even further. There is so much more you can do with this to customize it and make it fit your exact needs. In this tutorial, we've only really scratched the surface of what Umbraco can do. To keep on exploring, I've put links to more resources below this video. From here, the final thing for me to do is to commit all these changes I've made in Git and finally to push it to Umbraco Cloud so I can have a live website. I hope you've enjoyed following along this tutorial and that you feel well equipped to continue your Umbraco journey. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.